All right, we're back with some national news where we turn now to the race for the White House. Just hours before Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis faced off last night in a one on one debate in Iowa. That's right. Jersey Governor Chris Christie dropped out of the Republican primary race and all of it comes just four days ahead of the critical Iowa caucuses. Garrett Hake has the story. Overnight, a fiery face off in frozen Iowa with the state's Republican caucuses now just four days away. Put You're our so own desperate. people first. We You're have just to put so governor, governor Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis debating one on one in what's likely a race for second place behind the dominant front runner here, Donald Trump. Haley and DeSantis launching repeated attacks on each other's records and honesty. Every time he lies, Drake University, don't turn this into a drinking game because you will be overserved by the end of the night. We don't need another mealy mouth politician who just tells you what she thinks you want to hear just to try to get your vote. Haley mocking DeSantis for his campaign slide from top Trump rival as her momentum has grown in polls. If you can't manage a campaign, how are you going to manage a country? DeSantis belittling Haley's work as UN ambassador, labeling her as a globalist. You can take the ambassador out of the United Nations, but you can't take the United Nations out of the ambassador. Despite trailing Trump in Iowa and nationally, both candidates barely criticizing him. I agree with a lot of his policies, but his way is not my way. He also promised record deportations. Donald Trump deported fewer people than Barack Obama did when he was president. Earlier Wednesday, the GOP field's most consistent critic of the former president, Chris Christie, announced he was suspending his long shot campaign. Anyone who is unwilling to say that he is unfit to be president of the United States is unfit themselves to be president of the United States. Christie was also caught on a hot mic backstage discussing the race. DeSantis called me, petrified. And making this comment, presumably about Haley. She's going to get smoked, and you and I both know it. She's not up to this. Skipping the debate in favor of a Fox News town hall, Donald Trump seizing on that comment. I happen to believe that Chris Christie is right. That's one of the few things he's been right about, actually.